All right, here's this Casablanca Modern at Brandon's place. Is it a three-speed or two-speed fan? Three-speed. Three-speed. Now, which one came out first, this or the Zephyr? Uh, the Zephyr came out first. Yeah. Okay, I know there's one of these at the um, museum and such. Originally, I thought it was like a tornado thing, just kind of like the... Yeah, the logo on the front kind of looks like a tornado. Man, if anything, the blades on this definitely like replicate like out of any like replication fan I've seen that look maybe look at an antique like these ones definitely like look like antique blades and such. Mm -hmm. I mean same thing with the Zephyr, but I mean that's like a more common one and such, a boy design. It's funny, it's funny because out of all my years going to like two or three family homes, this is like my first time being on a third floor of one and such so i'm like okay so this is what it's like to have the lower ceilings oh yeah like the lower ceilings is cool yeah you know, but... it's not that bad like it's not as bad as i thought it would be no it's even from my height with me being a little bit taller and such yeah and especially like <clears throat> what is it um especially because like i don't have kids and shit yeah <laughs> if, if i had kids up here then i would be like all right now I'm gonna just put them in a the basement or something like it <laughs> I said, like, if I was to have either this or the Zephyr for like an office fan, I definitely would probably go for this one. Yeah, I like the way this one is like styled. Yeah. Better. Like, I love the Zephyr one, but it's just like it just looks it just looks too much for like a living room, not like an office. Yeah, it's very, uh, it's very vintage. Yeah. Like this has like a vintage look to it too, but it's like one that if you had like a very sweet looking office and such like it, this would work in it i don't know it's just a zephyr one like it just looks too much like i'm in like the only room i can see it being used in is like a living room that's a just for the appearance and such I was like, I'm looking down, like that looks like something you see like on a, like a coffee pot or something like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the weight of it, I can only imagine like, probably work out better with that one instead of like the normal type you'd see on piano like it is. Are those, is that radio that you guys have Bluetooth or no? This? Yeah. Yeah, it's Bluetooth. I've been only thinking like getting like something not as big as that because my dress is a little bit small for it. And so it's like I've been thinking about like, kind of a Panasonic one of like five CD changer ones and such. So for the CDs, it's like the speakers on it sound good, but I'm like, I kind of want to see if I can find something that's like the same exact type, but just with Bluetooth and such. I've had this since, uh, I think I've had this since college. 
I mean, I have the speakers in my living room that have Bluetooth already in them. I don't know, like, I don't, it's funny, like, I listen more to music when I'm outside the house, not so much when I'm at home, for some reason. I don't know, it depends on the mood I'm in. Oh, my, I'm pretty sure my newer sensor is like, what the fuck, because I had, <laughs> I had my music blasting this morning. <laughs> I just needed to clean stuff, so I'm like, oh, if I'm going to clean, I need fucking, yeah, no, same. I need my music on me. The problem is, like, the speakers that have, like, the bass is, like, so strong on it. So, like, I'll have, like, maybe the volume at, like, 10. And my mom thinks it's, like, super loud. I'm like, no, it's just the bass on it. It's just too... <laughs> Same thing with the... Because the car, um, the CD changer was busted on us. So I swapped it out for a Kenwood one. that's had CD, Bluetooth, and all that. So even with that one, like, it's making the speakers in the car sound even better than they did before. Oh, so good. Yeah, I just changed out the stereo in, the, in my hatchback. Oh, nice. And... Now I got like Apple CarPlay and like Android Auto and like all that shit. Yeah. I only paid like 80 bucks for the head unit. Oh damn, that's not bad at all. It's, it's so crappy. Mm -hmm. I just needed it to work. I don't need mm -hmm. it to be perfect. Right. Oh, yep, yeah, that'll be it for this video.